All right, guys, here we are unloading the kiln, and it's windy and rainy today, so hopefully my, uh, my microphone cover holds up and does well. Um, the kiln is a little bit warmer than I thought it was going to be uh, because it's been, it's been long enough that it should cool down, but I did have the damper closed. I have the uh, uh, ports covered with some kale wool, so it probably just cooling down slower. Uh, than I thought but uh, we're still gonna dig in here and we'll just use some gloves to get most of the things out because uh, some of these SD mugs actually I need to ship out today because uh, I have a, uh, a customer that has their uh, granddaughter getting married um, this weekend and she had ordered some mugs and wanted them shipped to her for the wedding uh, they had to delay their wedding because of the coronavirus and so uh, crazy times and she was like, you know what? We actually decided to plan to have the, the wedding this weekend. She's like, is there any way to get mugs here so they could toast with them at the wedding? So we're gonna have that. So anyway, hopefully, hopefully I didn't say too much. Maybe, maybe I won't put that part in. But uh, anyway, uh, may, I'll ask her before. Make sure her grandkids and whatever don't watch this video if it's gonna be a surprise of any kind. So anyway, uh, let me grab some gloves and we'll uh, get to unloading this. All right, my first thoughts, it looks like I dipped some of the red a little bit, um, maybe not heavy enough, uh, but it's still red. It's just not maybe as red as I wanted, uh, but I'm always more critical of myself than, than anybody else. But uh, anyway, and we got some new things I tested in here, uh, just a couple new uh, color combinations. On the bottom, I've got my uh, proofing baskets and one of the uh, bread cloches for baking bread in. I broke the other one. We won't even talk about that, but I broke one of them. So, uh, but anyway, so let's see here. We have, I did some uh, some more vases with just uh, the red with the with the other color interacting on top. The first time I've done any larger ones like this. Here's one more. Like I said, that color on the bottom looks like it was just like I said a little bit thinner than it needed to be to get the nice red. This is one of the new color combinations that I tried out. I like that. I'll definitely have to do some more of that. There's just the solid blue without that extra color added to the top. All right, here's a, here's a couple of my uh, tests that I wanted to try out. <laughs> this is pretty wild, so. I did my rutile blue and I did this. So this is three different glazes that I put on each of these. Uh, this was uh, uh, rutile uh, inside and then on the top. Well, first I did the, the rim in two different glazes. This one was the, the purple combination and this was the red combination. And then I lined the inside with the rutile and then put the rutile on the outside of the bottom. And uh, that one's definitely pretty wild. Both of them are, but uh, I don't know, something I'll definitely have to play around with some more. I should have one more color test in here like that. Uh, I didn't recognize it going in, but I couldn't find it with what I had left over, so I'm assuming it's in here somewhere. All right, and here is Otis. Making his debut out of the kiln. <laughs> I like it. I decided, like I said, just to do that iron oxide wash on the outside, keep it really raw natural looking plus it highlights all of his uh, his features so well and I, I wasn't going to do these two with the roots uh, with the uh, red iron oxide wash because it takes so long to do but I thought you know they're gonna look best if I do that so I did these two uh, so that's one of two, and the other one's marked two of two, the social distancing uh, jugs. Regular mug. And a couple more social distancing mugs. All right, the, uh, another thing I have, a, uh, I had a uh, wholesale order for these. I mentioned these before. These are going to be candle holders, and so I have like a little over 100 of these in here of two to, uh, 50 of, of two different colors. 
the other thing that I was really concerned about about these SD mugs were these really wide mouth ones. I didn't want them to warp. And the first one out looks like it's not warped, so that's a good sign. I didn't make any more of this shape after my first round because I was really concerned about them warping too bad. And uh, But that gives me hope that the rest of them in here will be nice. But uh, that definitely turned out well. And that, that's a neat color. I love the way those crystals are growing or going down in there. So that's pretty cool. Grab another one. That one's fairly straight as well. So a little warped on that one, which I thought you can see it's out around there. That's what I was concerned about. So it's probably a good idea that I did most of them in the other shape. I also got slowed down a tad bit loading this kiln because as I started to load it, I thought, you know what, I need to clean all my shelves. So I cleaned every single one of my shelves and uh, definitely glad I did because they, these after a while, they get a film on them and it can make the pot stick just ever slightly to the shelf. And then you get uh, uh, a little bit of the bottom of the pot gets more rough and uh, can cause some problems. So. these. Yeah, that color on those turned out really nice. I was hoping I'd get some of this variation in the purple. So it goes from purple to blue. And uh, that's really cool. I like that one. Look at the inside. Yeah, I definitely think that red wasn't thick enough because I got some good color in the top with the combination, but that bottom, it's not quite as red as I wanted it. That's a pretty color, look at that. First fatality of the kiln. It's not a total loss, but uh, I don't know how they got cracked on both sides, but wow. Oh, I bet I know what happened. I do know what happened. I was, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll tell you. I was, when I was putting the shelves in, you could probably go back and see this if you slowed down the video, but I guess I was putting this in, I was trying to adjust the position of the shelf and I tilted it and it was so close to the top of this that you can see those two cracks are right across from each other that I tipped the kiln shelf up onto that spot and I think it hit this mug and it must have put enough pressure on it that it cracked it in those two places and it didn't show up until in the glaze fire so it's interesting so whoops lots more of these like I said good thing I did this glaze combination because that color on the bottom is not the red that I want it's not a total loss, but it's just not as deep as red I want, as I want. That looks a whole lot better there. So it could be, could be thickness, uh, but it also could be uh, just position in the kiln. But I think mostly it's thickness. But uh, these look a lot better here. I think I'm really liking this purple by itself. Definitely gonna have to do some more of that. It's been staying away from it because it didn't sell that quickly, but I love that where it fades from purple to blue like that. That's cool.
looking good. Well, I'm very happy. This red looks gorgeous. So, because these are going to go on Etsy. And <laughs> that's some spectacular color. So, if you've been wanting a red mug, red and blue mug, then they'll be on Etsy very soon. Look at those. Holy smokes. Mmm. Seeing that makes me feel a whole lot better because I've got a couple boards more of pots that I glazed in the same color combination inside. And I thought, man, am I going to have to wash them off and glaze them thick with the thicker red glaze? But this is looking much better. Uh, these on the edge uh, didn't get as red, but like I said, I think that has to do with reduction more than, uh, more than thickness. So, yeah, because we got some pretty color here. All right, here's the other one that I was looking for. So I did my underglaze and purple combination and then I did red inside and out. So instead of having the other blue drip down, I had this lighter blue drip down. And I, I don't know that I'm a fan, but uh, definitely an interesting experiment. And uh, so here's what the other one looks like. Combination I've been doing and there's the new one. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Solid red ones here. Look how deep that red is. That's very nice. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but I guess it looks like I might get to keep one for myself. I don't know if you can see that uh, bump there. Yeah, there you go. There's the shadow. <laughs> A bloat on the bottom of that cup. Mm. Frogs are happy with all this rain. You can hear them, I'm sure. Don't need gloves anymore. Whew, they were getting hot anyway. Yeah, I knew that some of these, well, that one's pretty warm. <laughs> I think I'll keep them on. Oh, the ones in the front are not that hot. That one was. Um, I knew that some of these red ones on the edge would would uh, would get oxidized like that, but I thought, you know what, that'll make a more interesting mug. And some of you all seem to like those anyway. So I thought, so you know what, I'm not going to sweat that. I'm just going to let them get oxidized where they get oxidized, and they'll just be more interesting mugs when it happens. There's one, look at that, that's cool. Look at it, it crosses the, uh, like it goes at a diagonal across the logo. That's cool. one of the first shapes that I tried and I didn't really like that shape so I went for a couple other shapes but uh... oh, man. that one's got a lot of drips look at that it's a wonder it didn't go right off the mug Woo. I'd say the only thing with the red is that you don't get as strong of a contrast between the background color and the logo, but uh, the colors are magnificent. So, 
I think it makes up for it. That one got oxidized in the back as well, so we got a Carolina blue in there. Purple and Carolina blue. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I did a couple of these with that two-tone with the purple on the bottom. Nice. Honestly, say I've never had this many mugs in one kiln mug before. <laughs> Here's some that uh, actually the uh, the logo fell off of when I was uh, fist firing them, and so I ground it down flat and then uh, glazed them, and I figured it would cover it up, and it did. So these are uh, SD mug wannabes, but they just didn't quite make the cut. <laughs> but they look wonderful for regular mugs. That's a cool blue and purple. tipped over against the back <laughs> the back of the kiln so I got the drips going at an angle on that one but it's messed up on the rim hmm. well there's one of them you can see the coil is separated at the bottom but uh, it shouldn't really matter. I don't know. We'll find out. There's that real heavy one. Okay, well, that made it through. So there's the, I'll have to take a picture of this and show it to you, but there's the uh, lid and the base. Well, I'll show you uh, uh, the shelf here in a second, but uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. I'm glad that shelf didn't happen up higher because uh, that would have been a bad, uh, bad experience for the kiln. I don't know if it cracked when I was cleaning it, but uh, I'm just thankful that it was down there and it didn't break anything in the process of exploding or whatever happened to it. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys want to stick around, I'll do a little uh, chat here in just a minute to explain my absence, where I've been, and uh, some thoughts and all that good stuff. But uh, otherwise, if you're leaving now, thank you for being here and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I'm sorry I hadn't been here in a couple weeks, but uh, yeah, it's all good and we're back. And uh, thank you guys for your support, and we'll see you soon. It's been a little bit since that last clip you just saw, but uh, I needed to finish this video anyway, and I told you I was going to explain a little bit about where I've been, and now it's been even longer since uh, you've seen a video from me. Uh, but uh, most of you are aware of, of all that's going on in America, because most of you probably watching this live here. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll be real short. I'm not going to get into specifics about uh, any of the craziness as far as general craziness in America, uh, but as far as me personally, um, I started uh, back, uh, see, I, I don't know when that was now, but anyway, I uh, won't get into specifics on timelines either, I guess, but uh, basically, once all the, the virus stuff happened, uh, I'm a, well, first, initially, I'm a very positive person, you guys know that, I don't, uh, I've probably never been depressed in my life. I don't necessarily know what that feels like, but I think I got pretty close because uh, just with everything being shut down 
you know, basically two months without income. Uh, and then I had to uh, put in a whole new septic system at my house, which cost us a whole lot of money, a whole lot of our savings. And uh, that was just really kind of depressing, all that happening around the same time, uh, right around my birthday. So I know it was, it was uh, the middle of May and uh, middle to the end of May and just really had a rough time. And I just couldn't bring myself to make a video. Uh, I didn't feel happy, I didn't feel excited, and I don't want to put out content that I'm just begr begrudgingly putting out because I know I have to make a video um, because I, I don't think you guys want to watch me uh, in that in that state of mind. So, And since then, I kind of got over that, everything was getting better, and then the whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, the rest of the stuff happened in America that we won't get into right now. So anyway, that's where I've been. Uh, basically, I think the closest I've ever been to being depressed in my life happened uh, last month and uh, just wasn't good, but uh, it is what it is. But uh, I'm going to really make a, a concerted effort now to get back to making videos. Uh, I'm in the process of finishing up all my pots for my next wood firing, which is going to happen in like uh, two and a half weeks. So I've definitely got things that I can make videos about now and want to show you guys a little bit more of the process, if I can, of the wood kiln. So. Anyway, thank you guys uh, uh, for always uh, being here, supporting the channel, and I do apologize that I uh, took a break there. Uh, it, uh, I apologize in the sense that uh, I know I told you guys I was going to have two videos a week, uh, and I and I didn't for the last month or so, and I apologize about that. I know I needed the break personally, so I don't apologize necessarily that I took the break, but I just feel bad for you guys who were expecting to see videos and didn't see them. So anyway, that's it. Uh, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well, and you guys, uh, I'll do the same, but you guys stay strong, uh, stay encouraged, find, th find things that will encourage you, and uh, I'll do the same, and uh, we'll be back here soon with another video, so we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.